here. How are you? Oh, I hope you're having a great, great day. I'm inside today because it's raining in my house. And I didn't figure I could sit out on the back porch and read a book today because of all the rain. It might make the pages of my book wet. Although it is a book about sailboats, so it might work. But anyway, so I'm inside today. I'm sitting here by the fishes, relaxing in the room. So, yeah, I'm inside. Are you ready for a book today? I love reading with y'all. It's so much fun. And today, we got a Donald Duck book. You like Donald Duck? Oh, I like Donald Duck. He's one of my favorites, actually. And we got Chip and Dale. Little rascals. This is Donald Duck's toy sailboat. Oh, I can only imagine. I bet they're going to take that boat. What do you think? I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it, but let's wait and see what happens. Are you ready? All right. There, said Donald Duck. Well, it was probably more of a... But I do wouldn't be able to understand me if I tried to talk like him. So I'm just going to read it normal. And you can pretend I'm talking in Donald's voice, okay? All right. Here we go. There, said Donald Duck. At least it's done. No, it doesn't. <coughs> Silly, Dee Dee. I read the wrong word. Let's start over. Look, we're reading Donald Duck and his toy sailboat. There, said Donald Duck, at last it's done. He stood back to look at his toy sailboat. Making it had been a big job. It had taken him all summer long. But now the boat was finished. And it was a beautiful boat. Do you like that? Look at that. Wow, that is so cool. The mantle was just the place for it too. The whole room looked better with a sailboat sitting up there. Building sailboats is hungry work, Donald said to himself. So he fixed himself a fine big lunch. Now to try out that boat in the lake, he said. But his hard work had made him sleepy too. So he settled down for a nap after lunch. After that, he would try out the boat. So see, there's the boat on the mantle, and there's Donald taking a nap. I can relate to that. Dee Dee likes to take naps. Do you like to take naps? <gasps> okay. Now, outside Donald's cottage in the old elm tree lived two little chipmunks, Chip and Dale, and they had had no lunch at all. I'm hungry, said Chip, rubbing his empty middle. Me too, said Little Dale. But suddenly he brightened. Look, he said. Chip looked and looked, and at last he spied it. One lone acorn still clinging to the bough of an oak down beside the lake. Oh, look at Chip and Dale looking. They're going to go get an acorn. Down the elm tree they raced. Across to the oak and up its rough bark trunk. Mine, cried Chip, reaching for the nut. I saw it first, Dale cried. So they pushed and they tugged and they hustled and they tussled. And the acorn slipped through their hands and fell kerplunk in the water. Oh, oh no, look at that. It went splash. The two little chipmunks, they looked mighty sad as they watched the acorn float away. But Dale soon brightened. Look, he cried. Chip looked and on a little island out in the middle of the lake, stood a great big oak tree 
weighed down with acorns on every side. <gasps> down to the shore, race the chipmunks. But bird, it was too cold to swim. Dee Dee can relate to that. How can we get them? Chip asked. I don't know, said Dale. But he soon had an idea. Look, he said. What do you think they saw? Look in the window. What do you see? Uh oh, I sense trouble coming. Do you? On the mantel in Donald Duck's cottage, they could see the toy sailboat. Come on, said Dale. So away they raced straight in the cottage door. They had that sailboat down and almost out the door when Donald stirred in his sleep. Nice day for a sail, he said dreamily as the boat slipped smoothly past him. Uh-oh. Soon, Donald woke up completely. Now to try out my boat, he cried. Suddenly, something outside the window caught his eye. It was his boat out on the water. Look at Donald. Oh, he's an angry little bird. I'll fix those chipmunks, Donald said. He pulled out his fishing rod and reel. He chose a painted fly. It looked just like a nut. This'll do, Donald said. Ooh, such trickery. Such trickery from Donald Duck. From the pier, he cast as far as he could fling that little fish and fly. And with a bloop, it landed right beside the toy boat. Look, look at this, cried Dell. He leaned over the edge of the boat to pull in the floating fly. Good, a nut, said Chip. We'll toss it in the hold and we'll have it for supper. Mm, I bet they're about to be surprised. What do you think? As soon as it was fast in the hole, Donald pulled on the line. He pulled that little boat right to the shore. The chipmunks never suspected a thing. They didn't even notice Donald pouring water into the cabin of their boat. That sneaky Donald Duck, what was he doing? Chip discovered that when he went into the cabin, Man the pump, she cried. Those two chipmunks worked with might and main. And Donald just watched them and laughed. Look at that. They trying to get the water out and he's putting more water in. Silly old Donald. Ha 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 ha, said Donald Duck's chuckle. The chipmunks looked up. So that's the trouble, Dale cried. He pulled out the fishing fly from the hold and flung it at Donald so that he was soon tangled up in a fishing line. And while Donald was tugged to him, tried to tug himself free, the chips set out once more. Before Donald could launch his swift canoe, they had touched on the island shore. As Donald was paddling briskly along. He heard a brisk rat a tat 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 The oak tree on the island seemed to shiver and shake as its store of acorns rained down. The busy little chipmunks finished dancing on the branches. Then they hauled their harvest on board. Oh well, said Donald, watching from his canoe. At least I know the sailboat really will sail. Now let's just see what those little fellas do. 
And as you can guess what the chipmunks did, they stored their nuts in their tree, and then they took Donald's boat and put it right back where it was belonged. That was good. Did you notice that? They borrowed the boat, and then they put it right back when they were finished. Wow, wasn't that a fun book? I like little sailboats, and I like Chip and Dale, and, and of course, I told you already, I like Donald. I hope you enjoyed this book. Remember, Dee Dee loves you. I'm glad you're here with me. Say bye-bye to the fishes. Bye, guys. Love you. Thank you.